Hey, Sinead. Hi, Kira. <laughs> so we're going to do it this way today. Um, and that's because um, on the other systems we've been using, there's been a delay. <laughs> um, so there's no delay in this. Uh, so this is the chat and this is me, Kira, and Sinead, my sister. <laughs> Uh, and we run Team Nother and Team Nother, uh, we run courses, classes, clinics, trainings, uh, garden days, all kinds of different things. And uh, we're here to chat about what we're doing this week. So Sinead, yeah. what are we doing this week? <laughs> well, there's lots going on this week. So the breath yoga is finishing on Thursday, Friday. Friday, um, which uh, has been really so interesting. Um, I would have never thought I was into the breath side of yoga, but it's really opened it up for me. Okay. But and even more exciting is we have begin yoga starting next week. Which yeah, is amazing. Yeah, the, um, and it's this invitation to begin, an invitation to join this community, to be in this. Um, this connectivity or this you know, this tribe of people who are moving and connecting and and growing together um yeah uh, breath has been very interesting i've said it from the beginning you know i i i i know that i breathe and i know that i i have many many techniques that i've been taught over the years but i don't know how i feel about breath or i've never deepened into it in uh this kind of way so it's it, we've tried loads of different elements we tried rhythmic breathing, we tried ocean breathing, we tried, you know, noticing what happens when we breathe into certain areas or how we do different things. And it's kind of come and gone. It's like woven its way very gently into the month. I've enjoyed it. Um, yeah. Do I know more about breath by now at the end of the month? Yeah, I, I have a feeling of what I like doing a little bit more um and what resources me and what keeps me well and safe in my breath and from listening to the feedback from the community i have a sense of what people each individual actually it's a very personal journey the breath and that if i say that you can only do one way actually it's 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 not good for everybody to do one way um and so it's a bit like how i do everything is my, my philosophy is that we all should be different we all should find our own way that at any given time, for whatever reason, you might choose to engage with something in the class or just go, actually, for this, I'm going to take a rest or take a break or I'm going to, you know, just sit back and, and breathe uh, rather than move. Or I'm going to. And so it's been the same thing with breath. It's how do we truly listen and hear what it is we need to do in that arising moment rather than some external idea of this is what breath is. And it's been it's been amazing. Yeah, and that's something you talk about all the time, which is finding what you like. And so you have learned more about what you like in the breathing exercise or the breathing, it, it incorporating the breathing into your yoga. And so that's that's what this is all about. It's about finding your path and your way through all of this. And that's what we're encouraging in this whole community. And uh, it's so amazing to feel the energy of all the people every morning or every evening and the messages we get and the emails we get. And it's just so beautiful. People supporting each other and it's really, really lovely. Yeah. 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 yeah so. There's there's something about when when somebody like somebody sent me a video, we'll have it on the um, I talked about it last week in, in the chat as well. Somebody sent me a video and then from the sharing of that video to me, I then sent it out to everybody and then everybody had the experience of watching that and, you know, listening to it. And yeah, the, I, th I feel like we're, there's a growing or a connecting that happens in this community, the morning community that feels very global because there's people from all over the world. There's people from just right next door and it feels, yeah, there's, um, you know, I was thinking about it earlier, this sense of the challenge to be well, you know, the, the um, how, how do I choose to be well? And how do what do I do towards that? And there was something this morning, I was thinking about that, the people who are continuously turning up and who are choosing to do this practice with me, are learning that I will, in the best of my ability, steward a safe, 
and steady path into self-discovery uh, because that's what I need for me. Um, and that I, that's safe and uh, with agency of your own that I, ha I can choose at any stage to chill out or calm down or pull back or, or not do something for no apparent reason. And it's just really beautiful to be holding safety and discovery and self-regulation for this very large group of people all over the planet um yeah it's beautiful yeah it's lovely encouraging not pushing yeah and that's it yeah yeah, yeah. it's great yeah yeah and so your clinics are up and running in Nodar, which is fantastic. It's amazing. It's 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 amazing. It's I I forgot how awesome it is um, to have you know there. I was like going hey you know meeting therapists and seeing them arrive in and you know setting up just setting up the spaces for people to work in and do incredible work. The therapists that we have here, we've had most of them. We've had them for five or six years now, maybe sometimes longer. Some of them, like Karen's been here nine years now. And um, so we have this deep sense of knowing and connecting and really steady with each other. So when I say something and they say something, I, I'm very clear on exactly what they mean. And mm -hmm. and just, yeah, we love it. It, it feels like the the potency of Nother is, is, really, is really vital at the moment. It's very nice. Um, yeah. Fantastic. And Yusuf has his Soma Breath going on. Yeah. Yeah. And so he has a new Soma Breath. He has this amazing uh, Soma Breath. And there's quite a lot of people from America going to do it as well. And it's um, Soma Breath, um, Soma Breath, uh, like eight day breath wellness and re education. And it's that um, that Yusuf is teaching a way of learning how to breathe in a really formalized, very structured way and it's over eight days and there's eight different practices and there's zooms and there's there's different connect so like for example in the the morning yoga if you found that you really enjoyed the steady breath and the deep breath and so this would be amazing for you whereas if you were more tending towards oh i need to go really slowly then this is not the thing for you but the one like i get texts every day i got one this morning uh, from Dublin, actually, that somebody really loves the four by four breath, and they've continued that breath all the way through since I introduced it at the beginning of this month. And I was like, oh, and they they would really enjoy soma breath as a result, you know. So we're drawn to the things that our breath is naturally doing. So soma breath that Yosef does is about incredibly structured, uh, very deep process within the breath, which is amazing. It's amazing. Fantastic. The two of us, two of us are doing yes. breath things, you know, and it's yep. it's interesting how we're really different at it, you know. Um, so yeah, yeah. So Yosef has his Monday night summer breath tonight, and then the eight day program starts next Sunday, the thirtieth of May. So uh, if anybody's interested, you can email me on info at nodor com. And Yosef did an introductory we webinar about the eight day program on the 6th of May. And so if you'd like a recording of that, you can email me and I'll send it to you as well. And that's so. info at nother.com for mm -hmm. Sinead. And she tends to email people back the very same day. She's yes, pretty. I try my very best. She is awesome. So, uh, so yeah, and I saw on Instagram and Facebook that mm. you have lots of little ducklings. Yeah, so the ducklings They're hatched so on Saturday and there's 12 of them. And um, I always find it amazing. So ducks are called nest runners. And so within, so the first 24 hours they sit because there's some eggs that are coming out and some that are still in. And I want every, all the eggs have hatched then they just they just run, you know. The so from the beginning, like um, like the there's a video up on YouTube, uh, Facebook, and uh, what I had to do is I put them, I just threw them all in the water, and I just made sure that they all could get out of the pond. And then as soon as I know that they all know how to get out of the pond, then I just let them do whatever they need to do, and it is so adorable, you know. Um, they're just fluffy little balls of yum. They're just really sweet. Yeah, yeah. There's something very joyful, like. Chickens are all right, you know, you know, they're nice. They're nice. They're cute. <gasps> ducks. I think because we we had a, we had ducks who imprinted on us at the very beginning. We didn't know much about uh, anything. And, and there was some some that were actually really slow and they, they weren't going to hatch at the same time as everybody else. So they were left in the nest when everybody else, all the, the ones who had hatched went away. So we took those two eggs in 
And so George the duck came from then and George imprinted on us. So he thought we were his mom and dad. And so George lived in the ha in the house with us for two and a half months and he slept in the dog's bed and um, I would be doing treatments and he would have to come in because he was like a fire alarm if you left him alone. <laughs> the sound would come out of him and so i would like i would leave george with clients and they i'd come back in and they'd be holding george while lying on the table you know and, oh it was amazing um so yeah george I, so i think i just i just fell in love with ducks when when we had george um that sense of the adoration you know they 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 you tuck them in places and they just sit there and like nibble and t you know and, and they make this little noise and oh god ducks are amazing i would just i would i would have ducks all the time around here um so yeah yeah That's so cool and your potatoes did they get through the frost they did yes all as well as potatoes we're noticing though there's quite a few plants that are quite burnt our, our maple is quite burnt by the frost um the antler tree is quite burnt by the frost um some of the elder is burnt by the frost there's quite still a lot of a frost burn um our plums have no no fruit on them hardly this year i think they got hit just at the wrong moment now our apples are doing okay the quinces are doing okay the pears are doing okay but there's no plums it's just like i i was out looking and i think i saw one plum you know teeny tiny little plum mm -hmm. um and usually at this stage you should they should be there should be quite a lot even already like teen, they're like the size of um maybe a quarter of a pea literally a rice grain you see these little green things that look like a rice grain and that's what is left over after the flower has kind of fallen away and there's just this little thing and there's there's hardly any of them yeah that's such a pity a shame so did the frost come later this year may the beginning of may i don't know that it's later it's just it's just it happened you know like last year there was a really big wind at this time um and the the all the trees were burnt on the west side west face of all the trees and that was so we headed into a, a summer with like all these brown trees um so this year we don't there was no big wind as such that like that but there was a frost i think there's always something yeah. you know there's no there's no one way um absolutely so yeah yes and um our newsletter is going out this week uh, so if any of you would like our newsletter which has news of all the stuff that's going to happen in the next month um you can email me again at info .com and we'll add you to the mailing list and so there's information about the zoom yoga about the daily yoga about the soma breath about the clinics about all the other things that are going on at Nother, so you can get caught up on everything and we just send one email a month so you won't be inundated with lots of stuff and you can um, get links to our blogs and application forms and all kinds of things so um so yeah and kira we have been listening to this amazing podcast this mm. week yeah so Brene brown was talking to these two ladies what are their names Sinead? sisters um emily and amelia god they're twins imagine calling your kids emily and amelia <laughs> negoski by their names and they wrote a book called burnout yes and yeah. the the podcast was them talking with Brene brown um it was it was really interesting listening to it um the whole premise of the book is about completing an emotional cycle and that uh, and, uh, emotions are a chemical reaction in the body that they begin as neurotransmitters and they travel through the body through the blood and we feel them and then usually what happens is that there's a something happens we have a reaction to it through our emotions or our hormones or through our chemicals in our body we have this physiological thing that happens but if if we're not completing the cycle of stress in our body so for example if i am every day going to a very stressful job or if i am doing something and somebody's phoning me a lot and it's a very stressful thing after a while i start to hold that chronically in my body i'm not I'm not going oh that thing happened oh i was chased by a tiger and oh god the tiger's gone that's wonderful instead it's like and we're left in a certain state of onness or a certain state of chronic stress and we're not oh, relaxing and down regulating or ending the emotional cycle and it's all stuff I've heard before but somehow they they stitched it together in a really interesting way 
Um, and you, Sinead, what, what did you like about it? What did you find interesting about it? Yeah, I thought it was fascinating. It made me think of the TRA that you guys do, which is where you release the tension that's held in your muscles. And so they said the same, you know, if you have, like if you're in a car crash, for example, or a near miss car crash afterwards, your body will shake naturally. Um, and that's your body getting rid of the adrenaline that it thought it needed for a fight or flight or freeze. And so your body has to get rid of that or else it'll hold it. And then, as you said, you're in this on position and you're just constantly stressed out about everything. And you ha have a higher kind of a level of things bother you a lot more. And so, um, so it's so interesting to see that they were saying, you know, what you should do if you find your commute very stressful or your job very stressful, what you have to do is move your body. And so that's it, you know, either the shaking or they said, you know, just tense every muscle in your body and then let it relax or go for a walk or go for a run or, you know, do 10 jumping jacks at, beside your car. It doesn't have to be anything major, but just get your body to move and that will release that. And then you can move on with it and you can go back to zero and exactly it's really really interesting but it made me think so much of the uh the tre that yeah. you do and that yosef does and uh, it's such a powerful tool to have that you don't need to know what the stressor is and like they said you know you don't have to wait until the stress is gone the stress or the thing that's making you stressed out you don't have to wait till that's gone you can get rid of the stress before then yeah you know you can do this release even yeah. though you have to go back to that stressful job tomorrow or you have to do your commute again tomorrow but you can still let go of that stress and then you just start a cycle of letting go of it every time and therefore it's not affecting the rest of your life yeah so, and um, so they they said there was seven main things that we should do um, i remember some of them not all of them so one was move your body uh, another one was breathe really focusing on the exhalation another one was social engagement safe social engagement um, another one was, um, have a hug, um, like contact. And it's like a 20, 20, I'm going to say 20 minute, no, a 20 second hug where as you're hugging, then you feel that sense of, oh, settling and engagement. Um, they said laugh is really important. Yeah. Um, well, and they said, even if you can't laugh, remembering a time when you had a really big belly laugh can sometimes have the same effect. So yeah. if you remember back to, I don't know, I thought of you because the times we've sat around looking at old photo albums at mom and dad's house, you know, and we just laugh and laugh and laugh. And those are the times I really remember having those, you know, incredible laugh se sessions. And so that's, that's what I would have thought of. Yeah. And so, um, but that has the same effect of release, just having that memory of an incredible laughter session. Exactly. Yeah. In craniosacral, we often like with, we, we train, you know, our students that as they're asking their, their future clients or their clients that it's not even like find a place that's well right now in your body, or just remember a holiday that you had and the, the remembering of a time that you were really well or a holiday that you had or swimming with the dolphins or whatever it is, that as you remember things in your head, you actually feel the surge of wellness in your body. And so it's just really powerful how our minds are so incredibly present and they can affect us so much um because yeah. the inverse is also true you know and so yeah the, this podcast was very interesting and i felt afterwards that i could take a breath and really make it worthwhile almost i was like oh and i really it was like i could i could get so much out of me in that one breath i was like that's amazing it, and it was really the sense of really being conscious of now I'm down regulating. Now I'm releasing that stress. Now I'm relaxing after my day or, and it was really, yeah, I really feel like I was changed by listening to that podcast. Yeah. Um, and then I got the book, some of the book, book I kind of, she, she's a tiny bit, um, some of the stuff was a little bit black and white about, um, men and women. I found it a little bit polarized but if i if i kind of scoop through that there, there was so many gems in the book i'm really enjoying it and um, there's loads of really good wisdom um Great. yeah yeah i'm really yeah i love i love being changed by people's inspiration and people's insights um 
and you know what the that sense of painting or doing a job so i'm active and engaged in my life and yet absorbing information and insights from somebody um i love this this is very nice yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, it's the growth mindset. It's that you're open to all possibilities that, you know, not being fixed, that this is what I think and this is what I believe and that's the end of it. I've made my decision about that. You know, it, everything is learning and growing and opening your mind and, you know, even if you don't agree with someone, listen to them because yeah. maybe they have something interesting to say. Yeah. You know, it's... Um... Yeah, I came across another really interesting podcast. It was Dax Shepard. He's an, an actor and he, yeah, it was just, I found him really charismatic and maybe because he's dyslexic or something, something about the way he thinks. I was like, God, I really get how this guy thinks. Um, and so, yeah, so I'm going to I'm gonna stick up one of his podcasts as well. He was talking to this guy, Adam Grant, who uh, wrote a book called Think Again, um, uh, The Wisdom of Knowing That Which You Don't Know. You know, it's about acknowledging, like, I have no idea. Like, I, I don't know what this is. I, I don't know anything about that. And and the more we can acknowledge what we don't know, uh, the the more we can learn. Uh, and also, yeah. the, it was just so, it was just, it was a fascinating pos podcast. They, they really teased out some really wonderful ideas about, you know, um, confidence and, uh, like, not knowing and knowing and, and what happens, the cycle of knowing. It was just really cool. Yeah. It was really great. And um, I'll share it, okay? Um, cool. there's no more honey. Um, no. there's loads of ducklings. The potatoes are doing fine. Is there anything else going on? Here? <laughs> yeah. I think that's about it. Yeah, I think that's us. <laughs> the weather is still rotten. It was earlier. Earlier it was beautiful. Oh, and I was like, oh, is this it? Is this the moment when the summer starts? And so this weekend though, is supposed to be really beautiful. Something like 17, 18 degrees this weekend. Um, so that would be amazing. <laughs> Um, I'm going to go down nice. swimming this evening around quarter past, half past seven. Um, so it might be a car run. And when it's raining a lot, we we, we run from the car and straight into the sea. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, you, you, you're not making me want to try it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but Sinead, you know, the south of France, you know, why, why not come home and swim in Ireland? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's always lovely to talk to you, Sinead. And it's lovely to talk to you. Yeah, yeah. And Hugs to you. And you. Yeah. Yes. Soon we'll be able to have a twenty second hug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How lovely. Um right. so be well. Schneid, be you and be awesome. Okay. I just love it. It's just it's wonderful. I love I love working with you. It's really cool. Oh, um, I love working with you. It's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. We learn some every day. I feel like we learn something new, you know, or we yeah. learn we learn how to you know how to improve something or how to unpack something or how to you know work out something it's just amazing it's really it's really lovely working with you i'm yeah. very much enjoying it me too yeah and i'm loving this community we're growing yeah the people are just so magic they're really really amazing people yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's beautiful <laughs> yeah so great guys ciao okay. for now bye, <laughs> yeah, bye.